Hello, it's me again. I'm Nafid Salama. I would like in this video to show you how to configure TechX admin login to a Robo Mobility Controller using ClearPass as an X solution. Now, the steps or the um, the areas we would like to cover here: um, how to configure a Robo Controller with TechX settings. We would like then to look at how to create the service and then the policies, meaning what actions to take which are basically enforcement profiles, um, the enforcement policy, the logic to take the action. So all of these will be part of the service and we will um, test the solution. Let's go. So that's your uh, our mobility controller. We're going to look into that. We need to go to configuration. Now we have two ways to go, but we go for authentication. Notice um, the built-in server groups default and internal and the old servers we only have one server it's called internal so we're going to create a new server group um, the name any name but I would like to call it TechX TechX server group now the server group is created but has zero servers now we'd like to add two servers to that one we're going to add the internal one, the already internal one. And the reason we do this because we would like the um, admin to be able to log in internally, or i.e. the built-in admin account. We don't want to be locked out. As well as we would like to add another server, which is the TechX. So we create a server group that has one server. In here, we're going to create another server. And we would like to create add a new server. And let's call it... CPPM or ClearPass Policy Manager TechX. So the name doesn't really matter, but at least give it um, a meaningful name. You provide the IP address for that to 10254.1.25 and the type is TechX. We submit. We did add the server, but we have not added the details of that one. So if we click on this, there will be the details in here. The key has to match where on the um, clear pass. Session authorization will like to tick this box. So um, the commands that will be issued, um, you know, a new authorization, then we should be cap able to capture that. Now we will submit this. Notice the server group now has two servers. Click on it has internal and it has TechX server group. So what we're going to do now, we apply the settings, pending settings, and we're going to deploy. So simply, we create a, um, a server group, we add a new server, and we made both of these a uh, member of the server. Now we need to go to a system where you will authenticate, and we go to the admin authentication. Now in the admin, by default, it will authenticate management user will be internal built-in user and the role will be root. We would like to go and specify other authentication options. So to be able to authenticate to something else as well, you need to enable that. So we click on enable and we would like to use the server group that we have just created. So this means the user can authenticate internally as well as externally. And if you click in here, in the server group, um, we're going to say submit. And if you create, if you click here, you're going to find the server group that we have created here. You clearly can see this one. And that's where we are on the server group here. And we click on our server, the new one. And we will add server group match rules, meaning when shall I we use this server in at, under what conditions? Right. Remember, we are on the system admin the group, the server, and we will add rule. Here, the authentication string, we say contains, if we need it senior, then that's one of the conditions, or, and, meaning, another condition contains J and R, which are the names that we will provide when we authenticate. So only under these two conditions, this group or this server will be used and if you don't use if you don't have these conditions then the internal database that has no conditions here basically now remember um 
if you leave this one as this or the same order they will always try to authenticate from the internal database and because there are no conditions unless you change this one make it at the top now we can add another condition for the internal database we're going to say um, server matching rule here and we're going to say if the authentication string equals admin only use that one in case if it is only equals admin otherwise if that condition is not fulfilled it will try the next one down so we're gonna say pending deploy changes we are done with the mobility controller now we need to focus on the clear pass itself now to you go to clear pass click on clear pass and you log in with the credentials so we're gonna go to configuration so in clear pass now we will go to services we're going to add a new service that is for the aruba mobility controller click on the add the service and the type of that will be tacax enforcement now for the name we can give it any name if you would like to i'm going to give it um aruba controller admin and we would like to add the rules here of course it is tacax and remember we're going to specify a few bunch of things here so the first condition again there are tens different ways um, to achieve something but um, i'm showing you one way of doing it we're going to go the first condition if the connection nas uh, protocol equals tacax so we're going to say and i would like to make this one more specific to our environment and we're going to go device device type equals a robot controller that's remember that's the device type when we added the device as an add device um, then we go next in the authentication we would like to select active directory probably another source again it depends on your environment we go to the roles and we're going to add a new role mapping policy so we we're going to do we're going to add a new role mapping policy so this is to specify the role that will be uh, generated remember this is when you send back something to the uh, mobility controller so the role mapping we give it a name and we will select the default role it means if the conditions in the role the role mapping are not fulfilled then a certain action will be taken we will go for the read only admin tacax read only admin that is built in so we're going to go aruba tacax plus read only admin we go next now we put the conditions for our rules in here so we're going to add a new condition or new conditions here so the first condition we're gonna say we're gonna add add a rule here the first one is gonna say um, authorization active directory member of so we are going to find out if that is a member of contains senior meaning the group where this belongs to has part of that group named senior then that's a condition okay um yeah so contains senior that what's the rule here we're gonna go um in here we're gonna go for the root so basically the role name will be tacax root so that will be sent back to mobility controller and we're gonna go save it already exists so yeah because we already have it um anyway so this is just to show you that we uh, we could create it this way so we go go back and just use that specific uh, role mapping here right so that's the one if this condition is not fulfilled then the default role will be read only sent back to the mobility controller otherwise there will be a root sent back to the mobility controller next in the enforcement we're going to use the built-in enforcement uh, which is aruba device access policy and it says in here if the role equals this if the role equals this then send back a root access otherwise if the role equals read only um, 
and then send a read only access to the mobility controller we're going to save this and again this is because we create the service and anyway, we do have it so i just wanted to show you how what are the steps to follow remember um and when we added the device the device was added um i added a device as um we have the attribute here device attribute aruba controller now we have not added that device yet so we're going to add um 10.1.30 that's um, a different device we're going to add a different one or we're going to just change the ip address for this uh, to match our environment 10.1.40 and we provide all details again remember the attribute our controller we're going to save it so now we're going to test that connection remember to add a device you click on add and you provide the details you give it a name the ip or the range of ip addresses then the shared secrets and the type or the vendor type name and then we added attributes here as well so that's what we've done in this specific one so it has all details and in the attribute we have added it that we have used it inside the conditions of the service if you look at the service that we have had it um, we should be able to see that we are able to um, a room mobility controller this one and if you look at the conditions here we can see clearly that we have used the device type equal a river controller so that's now done in terms of uh, mobility controller as well as clear pass itself we need to test it It has authenticated and if you look at the clear pass policy manager you can see senior admin authenticated and it's just um, the first one here um, this one controller indeed this is the one and in the authorization we have just um, the first thing that we have executed here we can clearly see the service that was used in this case is our admin access control right we can authenticate and we can go back and have a look um, if I log in as non-senior admin it means junior admin I will be able only to read only so I cannot really do much about it meaning I can't do any config so let's go configuration let's go say WLAN you can clearly see that I can't do anything here it's read only user now we're looking as a senior so we could see the junior can't do much um, read only so we're going to look in as a senior it's in our admin let's try to do something here so go to the config WLAN and let us see if we can add click on it and you are able to add whatever you like it means you are full access um, and we were able to look in with the admin local admin we can prove it that's a local admin user and we are able to look in as a local admin and of course that's a root access full access and I can add if I need to look into clear pass policy manager and we look at the monitor in the access tracker you can see senior admin and if you look at the policies it was assigned tacx root access and if you look at the junior the next one let's see what is this junior admin you see the policies read only because the role was derived from the membership of the Active Directory.